CC Tyler is found under the Distort category. And if I apply it to my logo, we have a few simple controls to create a tiled image. The first control is scale, and this is what determines how big the tile source is. So at 100%, it's the size of whatever you've applied it to. But as soon as I dial this back, we're gonna start to see those tiles repeat. So if I say 25%, then my center tile is 25% of the original, and it's tiled all around it within the contents of that layer. The next control is the center property, and this is not where the actual center tile is, it's the anchor point from where the tile scales. So if I put this in the bottom left corner and I scale the tile up and down, you can see that that's the direction that the tiles are all going to scale from. The only other control we have is to blend with the original, which just blends the original layer into the affected version of the layer. Now let's say that you wanted this to tile out beyond the bounds of the layer. Well, then the simplest way to do that is to pre-compose it. So I'm going to go up to layer and all the way down to pre-compose and make sure to leave all of the attributes in this comp. And I'll just call this logo, click OK, go into that pre-comp and say composition, composition settings, and make it the same size as my main comp, 1920 by 1080. Close this pre-comp, and now because the source is the size of the comp, the tiles will go to the edges of the comp. But that's everything you need to know about CC Tiler. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then check out the other ones here on my YouTube channel. And if you like my teaching style, then definitely check out my longer form content on Skillshare and School of Motion. And if you want to support more tutorials like this one, check out my Patreon. You can find links for all that stuff in the description of this video.